Good morning, OHS. Today is Wednesday, September 27th, and it is an A-Day. But Pride Weekend is next weekend on October 6th and 7th. There will be food, face painting, games, and many other events, so make sure you show your Buck Pride and be there at Buck Pride Weekend. On Monday, the girls' tennis team lost a close match against Fulton 4-3. Boys soccer also fought hard in a tough 3-2 loss to Central Square. Rustin Buffard and Peyton Reese scored for the Bucks, while our very own Nick Holland had 23 saves. The boys' volleyball team moved to 4-1 on the year as they beat Living Word in four sets. They play Friday at home against Syracuse. As for today, girls' soccer visits Cortland, girls' swim hosts Skinny Atlas, and the girls' volleyball team looks to stay undefeated at home against Central Square. So make sure you come out and support the Bucks. That's all for your sports. Now let's send it over to Ashley and Nick with your morning announcements. Hey Nick, what you doing there? Oh, I'm shooting up on the Buck Friday weekend next weekend. It seems pretty fun. Yeah, it does. Are you going anytime? Yeah, I plan on it, but I have, next week we have Spirit Week, and I have no idea what I need to wear. Oh, I have some information about that. Attention all students, Spirit Week is next week. America, Monday is America Monday, and the junior class will be selling American flag temporary tattoos during lunch periods. All proceeds will be donated to the Hurricane Relief Act. Tuesday is Tie Day Tuesday, Wednesday is White Out Wednesday, Thursday is Tropical Thursday, and Friday is Buff Blue Friday. All students on Monday, October 2nd, please, please come and support our juniors or seniors in this year's Powerpuff game. There will be a meeting for all freshmen today during third period. Please report to your class prior to going to the meeting. Hey, Ash, did you hear about the new Super Friends class? I have not. Do you have information about that? No, well, I don't really have that much information, but I heard that Monday they did an uh, investigation of a crime scene. That's cool. Let's take a look. Um, it's uh, Syracuse University Project Advance. It's basically an entry-level forensics course, so you are learning everything from the, um, you know, the beginning of, of crime scene investigation, how to process a crime scene. We'll do forensic toxicology, fingerprints, um, DNA analysis, and the list goes on and on. The class entails doing a lot with crime scenes and investi investigating crime scenes about how to search them, how to get all the evidence from them, and how not to miss anything. Today we investigated a crime scene and finding all the evidence, making sure not to miss anything and properly marking it. I would highly recommend students to take this next year. It's so much fun and it gets you away from the chemistry and the biology and physics. And it's just something new and different and it's so much fun. That seems really cool. Maybe I'll take it next year. Yeah, I wish I got to take it in my past four years, but uh, I can't. But let's go on to the rest of the announcements. Yeah. Any freshman, sophomore, or junior inter interested in student council, please pick up an application outside of either room 212 or 216. Applications are due no later than October 11th. Please turn in your application to either Mrs. D'Angelo or Mr. Vayner. Any student interested in traveling to South Africa next summer with Environmental Club, should plan on attending an informational meeting with the parent this Thursday, September 28th. The meeting will be held in room 154 at the middle school at 6.30. Any questions, please contact Ms. Celeste at the middle school. All seniors, your first payment for the senior trip is due Friday, October 13th at Mrs. Palmatesso in room 273. That's all for our announcements. Now let's go back to Dane for your weather. Thanks guys. For your weather today, there's going to be a high of 84 and a low of 55 with a 10% chance of precipitation. Hot and humid again today, but the next two days it'll cool down and look like fall once again. That'll wrap up today's edition of the Morning Announcements. Remember to smile and have a great day, OHS.